Welcome back to video three of the Roten Road Show. Could be video one again. Stick around, I'll tell you why. All right, well, welcome back. Uh, I restarted. <laughs> I scrapped the first board. There were just too many little mistakes that added up to just make it a mistake filled board and I couldn't do that. I couldn't turn that one in. So initially I wasn't even going to make another sign, but I was in uh, Lowe's today and I saw a pretty nice board that was a glued up panel, thicker than what I normally see in there. So I said, well, I'm going to pick it up and give it a try. And then uh, when I started my carving, I thought I pressed the record button, <laughs> and I didn't. So, I have not recorded any of the carving that I've done on this version 1A, if you want to call it, video 3. Um, I still need to carve the heart in the state of Texas, so I'll get a little bit of carving in it. But um, I have never found board this thick pre-laminated at Home Depot or Lowe's before so I went ahead and bought it and it hasn't been that hard of a pine board to to carve um, a I've got sharp bits thanks Eric <laughs> and B you know when you get to the brown part it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be soft hard soft hard so you just take your time and go through it easier um, so when I come back I'll go ahead and do the heart and the uh, the shape of Texas and the flag, and then that'll be it for the the carving. Except for the, uh, I'm going to do the cloud effect around the road show and then around uh, Milburn Park and Cedar Park, Texas. I'm going to do the cloud effect there. So that's all that I have left on the carving to do. And um, so I apologize. This has just been one of those weeks where. I guess my brain's not been getting engaged, <laughs> but uh, I'll get this thing finished and get it brought up there. So hang on, we'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and carve the broken heart, the shape of Texas and our flag that's in the background. Uh, I'm gonna do preliminary carving with the carving liner, and then I will come back and clean those up with the profile bit. So uh, here we go, I'm gonna get after it. all this I'm going to change out router bits I'm gonna put the, the profile bit back on and then I'll chase the outlines with the profile bit of uh, the Texas the flag and the heart so hang on I'll be right back and like I said everything else is gonna be inset just like it's carved here you'll get the black uh, sprayed and then into everything so we have the outline and um, the letters in the cloud are all going to stay natural color and then we'll paint the red heart and then the red white and blue of the Texas flag and that's basically it so it's going to be fairly quick so um, I'll be right back I've got to change bits go to my 90 degree bit um, and cut the uh, cut the clouds and then we'll get right at it so I'll be right back okay what I'm doing because I had a mistake with the K when I was cutting out the letters I didn't realize that I had cut the K wrong I cut it inset instead of outset and I did the same thing with the comma after Cedar Park so because this is all going to get painted uh, I can blend this in real easy what I'm going to do I'll cut a piece off of this pine and uh, I'm going to trim up and clean up this uh, wedge that I've carved right here and what I'll do is I'll glue a piece down inside there let it cure and then I'll come back and I'll just redo the K redo the apostrophe and redo the background 
it'll blend right in and hopefully it won't be seen. That's my theory anyway, so let me get this cleaned up and get us a uniform width and then we'll get to work with it. All right, that looks like a pretty good pocket. Well, here at Pops Custom Signs, I don't hide mistakes. I, I want y'all to learn from it. Don't repeat my mistakes. So pay attention to your carvings. So it's pretty wide that away. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it this way. Like I said, it's gonna be painted and hidden, so tis not to worry. Pencil, do some marking. Okay, first thing I want to do is I want to cut off the end, that end of that. So, uh, <clears throat> all right, we're going to see what we got to do about getting this all shaped up and fit in. Sometimes it's easier to shape the hole to the plug. So I'm going to mark it a little bit. And then we'll just take a little chisel and clean that out. Let's see if we can't make this thing fit. Squaring that out pretty good. Take a little bit more. Okay. All right, let's get an idea how this going to go. I want it to be a good snug fit. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut this little wedge off right here and I'm gonna cut it probably right in through here, glue it all down and give it time to cure and then I'll come back and then we'll cut it up, we'll dress it up and when it's all painted, you won't even know it was there. So, or that's the way I'm thinking it's gonna work anyway. <laughs> so, all right. I'll be back. Alright. Pat just kind of spread that glue around in that joint. Good, that's good pull. Good pull. Nice and full. This piece of paper right here. Alright, so that fills it up real good. I'm going to let this sit. We'll put a little bit of weight on it. This hammer will be plenty good. We'll put that weight on it. <clears throat> and I'm going to let that sit. And I'm going to go eat me some supper. And when I come back, that glue will be dry. We can lay out the letters and the apostrophe. And 
we'll be back in business. So, like I said, here at Pops Custom Signs, I don't hide my mistakes. I relish in them. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, due to technical difficulties, I lost the portions of the video where I had painted the sign and applied the three coats of Halcyon so that they could be autographed all over the sign. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I want to go ahead and thank everyone for following me. And uh, if you would, you know, please share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. I would greatly appreciate it. So when we come back to the next video, uh, we will be at the actual uh, Sunday gathering. And uh, you're going to see the reveal when we give this to Eric and Vicki. And then you'll get to see it uh, in its final stages. So... Thanks a bunch, and we'll see you in the next round. Have a good one.